Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to look at how you can land yourself a helpful worker job in the UK. If you're a dentist, if you're a nurse, if you're a medical laboratory practitioner, by the end of this video, you should be able to find opportunities to apply for a job in the UK. Okay. In this video, we're going to talk about Midland Partnership NHS Foundation Trust. How do you land yourself in the UK with a health care job, with a medical laboratory job, with a nursing job, with a dentistry job? Okay. So what you need to do first is to type Midland Trust or Midland Partnership NHS Foundation Trust. Okay. Now you see in the search over here, okay? So you can just enter, then you go to the website, which is Midlands Partnership NHS Foundation Trust. You click on the website, then it gets you to their website, okay? And as you can see, you can look at their services. So you go to services, then you can go to service finder. Okay, anywhere you want to go. But one important area you can do is to go to working here. Okay, you click on working here, then you can see careers at MTFT, Midland Partnership Foundation Trust. You go to careers, then you scroll down. Okay, before you scroll down, you can contact recruitment at MPFT. You can just contact them to see the jobs available or any requests, information that you want, you can contact this recruitment uh, at MPFT, okay? Now, let's look at the careers available on uh, Midland Partnership uh, NHS Foundation. If you scroll down, you can see here, explore our roles. So you can see that they have roles for nursing, they have roles for healthcare support workers. Now, healthcare support workers, has been one of the most uh, uh, working positions that people want to do in the UK. If you want to do your nurse, you want to do healthcare support worker job, you can apply on the Midland uh, Partnership Foundation Trust. If you are allied health professionals, okay, medical laboratory, et cetera, then social work or social care jobs, health and justice services, medical and dental work, support services, health science services, then administrative services. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to tackle nursing and then healthcare support workers, okay? Let's go to healthcare support workers. We click on that, then we go here, apply now by clicking the button below and one of our friendly team will be in touch about opportunities we have available. This is what they say on their website. Mind you, I don't work in this organization, okay? My video is purposely for educational purposes, all right? So what you can do in applying for the healthcare support worker job is to apply now. Guys, like, you know, in my video, I give you details. I've always been telling you some of these, these things. You don't need an agent to help you apply for them. You can do that by taking your time. So it's a matter of going to apply now. Sometimes some of the work, you go to apply now and you see that the job role is not available, but you need to keep in and keep on checking if the jobs are available on this uh, website. So this is for healthcare support worker. You just apply and look at the necessary uh, information that are available on the website. We can go back, then explore, the nursing jobs or roles available. So you go to nursing, then you can go down, then you can look at the nursing vacancies over here. Okay? You can go to nursing vacancies. Then you go down, you can see this, health visitor or school nurse strengthening family team, band six, mental health nurse acute inpatient, band four nursing associate Shrosphere, CRHD, I'm not familiar with some of the worst. Health visitor or school nursing strengthening family teams. CDS physical health or support worker, okay? This is a support worker job. 
There are so many jobs, guys. Community staff nurse, salary available, band five available. Okay. Now these band five, band three, you have been hearing it's about it's a role, okay? A role, a kind of role, a rank, okay, in the nursing uh, job. Band one, band two, we have entry level, we have more experience levels and other staffs. Non-medical prescriber, we have practitioner. We have a lead specialist practitioner, community, prenatal, mental health nurse. So you look at which one, I mean, links with your qualification and you look at the requirement then you can put in your application. Okay, guys. So let's click on community staff nurse, for example. Then we see what is available here. Okay. So when you click on that, you can get a chance to read the, the job details, okay? Okay, if you look at the contract, it's a permanent contract, guys. Permanent contract. Then hours here, we have full-time, they have full-time, they have part-time, they have flexible working. The job reference available, job overview. You can read everything over here. Main details of the job is indicated your responsibilities indicated here, the, then qualification and training, essential nursing degree or equivalent, including registration with the nursing and mid referee council, desirable further continued professional development practice supervisor and assessor training, person specification, you must be, you must have a degree in nursing or equivalent, you must be commit, committed to working towards mentorship, practice or assessor training, okay, professional registration, current NMC registration, experience, you should have team working experience, you have experience in delivery of healthcare. Okay, guys, so you go ahead, then you read a job description, okay, applicant requirement is available here. You look at it, then if everything suits your case and you think you really qualify for the job, you can put your application by clicking on apply online now. Okay, so when you click on apply online now, if you already have the sign in details, you sign in. If you don't have, and you have the first time visiting this website, you can create an account, then you sign in to put in your job application, okay? Now, I've been telling you that you need to always make sure that you have a very nice CV. Your CV talks about you. So try to keep your CV simple or your resume simple. I mean, your resume should be, should be brief. One page is enough to summarize your experience and your qualifications that you have, okay? So just create the account. You enter your email, then you follow the processes, then you get in there. Okay, so this is about the nursing role in there. We can go back. Then you can see the nursing. You can see the social work or social care. You can click on any of them. If you want to go to medical and dental, then you click on medical and dental. Then you also look at the vacancies that they have within medical and dental. You can see that they, they have, uh, they want dental nurse, community dentist band A, community dentist band A. You can see that. So you can click if, if you have dental, if we're a dental nurse, then you want to apply for the, the dental nurse, then you have to click on dental nurse, okay? Then you scroll down. When you scroll down, you have the job details available here, okay? You read about it, then you finally go to apply. Now I've been seeing this, my account here. I've been seeing this. This is, I've been here for so many times I scroll. We can check what it says. So you get my account. Okay, so when you go to my account here, what it does is that it takes you straight to the application process, okay? By registering and continuing your application guide. So guys, if you want to land yourself with a hospital job, okay? Uh, Allah had professionals, dental jobs, nursing jobs, care support jobs. 
then you can apply to this uh, I mean, institution. Then you end up getting a job, guys. Please, there are more videos about these coming your way. Please subscribe to the channel so that you don't lose any information. You always get yourself updated, guys. Thank you all for watching.